Yeah, another guy that I'm glad to see starting to step up again as he did at the beginning of the season, Aaron Thomas. Felder with the three. Felder going to be very important to defend today, but bullies his way inside and puts one in off the glass. Yeah, he really took it to Moreland right there, and he's not afraid to go body to body with the big man. Quick response there from Can Pace moving early on in this one in the first minute in his face. Good shot, though, but one and done for Windy City, and they need points. And uh, that, I say, that one's a two for Kay Felder, but a long two. This is Windy City gets the lead back by one. I will say it again and again and again. Jarrell Eddy off balance. Shooting a three is remarkable. He's taken an awful lot of shots. Uh, you got a key on him, but then when you do that, you got to be very careful who, who you leave open. Felder drives in, gets it, and one. He's in how many actual shots he takes, but Windy City, open shot from the right elbow there by McKinney. You gotta make shots like that. Puts it in. Good board control there by Windy City. Oh, oh. just breaking <laughs> ankles, Kay Felder. That ball more than ever. That's Felder charging back down and just out running Will Bynum for that one. Locker room, but uh, they've come out wanting to blow every whistle possible. Windy City not getting a break at all. And, and Felder anything. with a deep three to push the lead back up to 13 for the charge. One that they're going to have to uh, look back and say, wow. Felder moves in and with the spin is able to knock that one down. Our bulls are going to fall down against the Canton charge. They move to 18 and 22. As for Canton, they moved to 24 and 17.